going on, crew? It's your boy Gumby coming in with a double XP video. I just wanted to get this one out for this this month's, I guess I was going to say this year's double XP, but this month's double XP. Uh, so we got, it starts on May 3rd. I'm guessing uh, double XP lasts uh, three weeks this time. Uh, you still have the same 48 hours, um, but it's drawn over 48 uh, or three weeks, which Honestly, there's been a lot of talk about it, and for me, I'm like cool with it. I the first weekend I have a wedding, I just can't I can't like do anything, and uh, the weekend after I'm gonna be gone Saturday. So it's like, for me, it works out. So I don't know. A lot of people kind of like, wow, this is too long. My thought is that I think we should do like maybe two double XPs a year, and then do more like combat week where there's free deaths or mini game week where. There's double mini game points like that stuff was so cool or the gathering weeks. It just breaks stuff up for people. And uh, I think that's a lot more interesting than just spamming double XP all over the place. But whatever, play the hand or doubt. Currently, we're going to be working on a few things. And uh, I wanted to give you guys a pro tip on Hunter training spot later on, too. So uh, let's get into it. All right. So the main thing I am going to be planning on to work on double xp is dungeoneering last double xp i had plans to set out and do i think it was like 60 million xp in dungeoneering and honestly if i really stuck to it i probably could have done it it was really hard getting groups together to do it and i feel like i wasted a lot of time towards the end i was just like cooking fish because i just had like 15 hours remaining and that's so much double xp just like xp i could have gained in dungeoneering but i think with it being spread out longer I'll, there should be no reason why i don't get 120 dungeoneering i'm saying that to myself and to you guys because i should i should be able to get 120 dungeoneering all right gumby get 120 dungeoneering 30 mil xp i mean there's 48 hours even if i average a mil an hour that would be terrible xp but you know some of those higher dungeons you get get like 1.xxx drops for xp it's just crazy so we got cards uh dungeoneering points uh, i'm sitting at like just under 700k uh so we should be able to get plenty of cards and i know a lot of other people in my clan will be doing that as well so 120 dungeoneering that's goal number one after that honestly i don't have like set plans on stuff um i'm 384k away from 120 prayer and honestly, by I, today, I might actually just go and get this. What have been I've been waiting on? I haven't been able to record uh, the clip to get 120 prayer as well as 120 magic. So just because like when I AFK at work, I don't like I'm not recording anything. So I just didn't want to like miss out on the clip. So I've had this sitting here for like a week of just like 300k XP for these. So I will definitely be getting these. We're close on fire making. So I think after 120 Dungeoneering, you know, whatever whatever time I have left, my plans will really be pumped into Hunter. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm going to show you guys an alternative spot to the one that's always, always packed that I use over the uh, Gathering Week, which I did like 30 mil XP in. It was awesome. Didn't get crashed once. Always found the world I was in every time. It was wonderful. We'll be spending a lot of time in Hunter with the remaining time as well as, uh, what was it, cooking. So... I currently have under like 30,000 sailfish left to cook. Um, I don't know. I don't think that's going to get me. I definitely won't get me to 120, but it'll put a good dent in it. So we'll uh, we'll definitely be working on that with remaining time. Um, and honestly, I'm not sure where that'll put us. So I'm hoping, hoping that uh, the 30K sailfish, 120 Dungeoneering, uh, I think I still have like 15 protein traps left for Hunter. Definitely going to do that, and then the remaining time we'll just do Slayer. So over combat week, whew, we got a ton of XP. I think I did like 21 million XP in Slayer over combat week, which was sick. So uh, 20.6 mil left, or 20.6, 19.6 mil left in Slayer uh, for 120. So these the the comp, the comp uh, skills are coming together, which is nice, and we're, we're racking up 120s. I mean... Currently, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, 9, 10, 11. So that'll be awesome. 12, 13, very soon. We'll see. Those are the plans. 
Dungeoneering, Hunter, Cooking, and Slayer. Those are, those are what we're working on. All right, so what you're gonna need for this is uh, obviously your protein traps and a bunch of Hunter potions. So you can buy these off of Grand Exchange, make them yourself. They're usually a little bit more pricey, but um, four doses, or is it, I think it's one dose is 10 minutes. So um, every half hour you have to re-up a little plant that's over there, but it beats trying to hop worlds on insanely crowded places. So uh, let's get to it and I'll show you uh, where we're going. So normally you would come up to this spot. This is like, this never happens. I've never actually gotten over here and this spot not be already occupied by sometimes two people, which is just crazy. So where this spot is, ideally this is where you would want to come camp. Um, you just come in off the lodestone, come through here and just run rip right through here to get here. This is where a lot of people go and it is, if you get lucky, find a world here, awesome, come here first. Uh, just know that people might crash you and just kind of keep that in mind. So it's, it's pretty simple if you come over here. You just, you don't even need a uh, hundred pots here. Just come like right here and uh, like anywhere in this chunk and just auto deploy and then just sit here. And I think every few minutes you gotta click auto deploy again and then you'll just keep collecting. So this is definitely a T1 spot. Um, I'll show you where I went on gathering week. Uh, Cause even on gathering week, it was wild here. So uh, let's show you where that's at. All right, so let's go to this next spot. And if you can do the other um, Jadinkos, you can do these ones because uh, they're they're lower in level. Um, let me actually, I can show you on the map too where we're actually headed. So let's pull this up. And it's right over in this spot right here. Come down here, come across the rocks and come down here. So um, I will show you that right now. A little Agi XP cruising. I've never done like a guide of any sort ever before, so. Maybe I'll have to try and cut this up to make it not so ugly. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited to get uh, some double XP gains on the on the dungeoneering front. I really just want that one to be done. I thought I was going to be doing more like ED3 stuff too. It would have taken, you know, cut a lot of time out, but uh, that just didn't happen. So here we are. Um, so we'll come through here and just rip around the corner here. Let's see where we have it marked. We'll just kind of zoom on up through here. Oh, I'm nuts. Excuse me, mister. All right, come through here and I'm not sure I don't think there's enough amphibious Jadinkos over here for it to be worth anything. So just keep coming through here, cruise up yonder way. And there's a little rock path that honestly, the first time I saw this, I was like, oh, how the hell do I get through here? But just a little rock path you can cut across. And this is, this is my go-to right here. This uh, this little plot with these aquatic Jadinkos. So pretty much just post up here with the auto deploy. We got to go here, add potion to the red vine blossom. Hit add potion and then it'll give you options. One, two or three. One is 10 minutes, 20, 30. And then every 30 minutes you have to re-up. So it's kind of, it's not really annoying because it's every half hour, but you have to do more work to get here. But I think it's super worth it. And then you just run back here, hit the auto deploy and they'll just come running. Like I said, I did 30 mil during the gathering week, and I don't think it's that much less than what the other ones are. And you don't have to fight over resources to, or like find a world. So I say go for this folks. All right, and that's it folks. I hope that everybody has a wonderful double XP. I will definitely be letting you know how my gains go. And uh, if you like the video, please like the video and hit that sub button really helps out the channel. I hope everybody has a wonderful uh, day and week, and we'll uh, catch you all next time.